Hi, I'm Danny DeLillo with New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker magazine. Today we have an exciting documentary filmmaker, Elizabeth Lowe, with her movie, Last Stop in Santa Rosa. Let's take a look at a clip. Basically, Last Stop in Santa Rosa is a black and white film about um, animals who are struggling through their twilight years and a hosp an animal hospice that's allowing them to live instead of be euthanized, as most elderly or sick pets are at the end of their lives. What were the influences in you deciding to make a film about this? I think in terms of an aesthetic style, because I was working with film, um, Mike Lee and Kelly Reichardt are huge sort of, I love their aesthetic and storytelling styles. And that was a huge aesthetic influence. Um, and in terms of documentary, um, Werner Herzog is a huge, I know he's a huge influence. And then also er Errol Morris is who got me into documentaries in the, in the first place when I watched Vernon, Florida, where it, w it was less about information, but more about art. And that's when I decided I wanted to make documentaries. Elizabeth, you're currently at Stanford University doing documentary filmmaking. Tell us about that experience. Um, so the Stanford program has an MFA, Master of Fine Arts program, um, specializing just in documentary filmmaking. And it's an eight person uh, class per year. And it's incredibly intensive. And you make uh, one film every 10 weeks, basically. And so this film, I made it in 10 weeks. And we had 15 minutes of raw film to use to cut a five minute film out of. And it's incredible to be immersed among eight, seven other people and having amazing professors who guide you through the critique process, making your film better and better with each workshop. What were your reasons to do the movie in black and white? Well, actually for our first, this is the first film I made at Stanford. And for our first quarter, we work with black and white film to teach you to be, to make, to, to be decisive because you have a limited amount and to learn how to interact with people because we were shot on a Bolex hand cranked film camera. Um, we had to work with our, our human subjects a lot more, um, collaborating with them so that they would, we would be ready for the shot when they would come in and stuff like that. And so it taught us a lot about filmmaking and being decisive. And I picked this topic partly because it fit the medium because film, celluloid film is very organic and it's something that fades and is very vulnerable in the way that digital film isn't, digital media isn't. And so to me, the aging bodies of animals seemed like a good, a good match for this medium. How does it feel to have your film officially selected for New Filmmakers Los Angeles? It's a great, it's a great honor whenever a festival or anyone on a board decides to allow your film to screen as part of their shorts program. And I think it's an incredible privilege. And, 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 I, and part of the reason why I wanted to make this film is because I felt like it had a meaningful question that it was raising. When I first encountered the idea of animal hospice, I was shocked because I originally wanted to make a film about a family that was dealing with having to put their dog down because I myself thought that's what people do at the end of their pet's lives. But encountering animal hospice made me realize that that's not necessarily the only path that you can take when your loved one is near the end of its life. And sort of that internal revolution that undermined my own cultural presumptions was an interesting experience for me. And I wanted my audiences to, to be able to go through that as well. And to, you know, if you have your own pet or even if it's like family member to think about those questions about life and death at the end and what it means to induce death or prolong life. And I thought that was really interesting and it's a great opportunity to be able to share that, that idea or that question with people.